This is crazy. Just in, U.S. President Joe Biden's administration declares Easter Sunday to be Transgender Day of Visibility. Biden also announced all religious themed designs are banned from the White House Easter egg art contest. This is complete antichrist, blasphemy, and it's a clear open shot from the enemy. This is the enemy showing that we are in a time of wickedness where the president of the US tries to pervert Easter Sunday and turn it into a transgender day of visibility. We are in the end of times. Jesus is coming back soon. It's time to give our life and repent. Repent, turn away, give our life to Jesus. Believe the gospel, the good news. He is your Lord, your savior. He died on that cross. He was buried and rose. We need to turn to Jesus. I don't know how y'all can't see how in the open the enemy is now. Sunday, Easter Sunday, is now gonna be looked at as a transgender day of visibility. Bro, this is right in our face. The enemy is literally making it obvious that he hates Jesus, he hates Christians. You don't see them changing days for Islam or Buddhism or Hindu or, or whatever it is. There, it's always a shot at Christianity, at those who follow Jesus Christ. I wonder why. Don't you ever think when people get mad, they say what? Jesus Christ, right? They get mad and they say his name in vain. Why does every religion always mention Jesus too? In some way or form, right? Muslims say that he was only a prophet. You got Buddhists who some, a lot of different sects in Buddhism, they'll say that he was a, 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 a guru. Some say in, um, in New Age that it was a, it's a, a Christ conscious. I've heard shamans say that he was a shaman. Look, every religion always mentions Jesus. Even in Voodoo, Santeria, they always mention Jesus Christ. And that's crazy to me. We are in the end of times. We need to wake up, people. We need to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. The harvest is plentiful. If stuff like this is going on, where evil is at an all-time high, don't you think that God is moving too? He's moving. The harvest is ready. It's ripe. It's plentiful. It's ready to grab. Go get it. Go win souls. The Bible says a wise man wins souls. Go win souls. Go tell everybody about Jesus. It's time, people. Even worldly people who are not even saved, born-again Christians, they can tell that there's something weird going on. They can tell. They know we're getting close to the end of times. It's right around the corner. The, the red heifer, right? We saw that too. The red heifer sacrifice, the altar already built. It's getting real, bro. <laughs> Biblical prophecies are being fulfilled. It's right in our face. You can't even deny it now. You can't. The Antichrist spirit is already on the earth. And the Antichrist is going to reveal himself soon or, her, or herself or itself. I don't know. But the Antichrist will reveal itself soon. Prepare, family. Prepare. Now's the time to win souls, cast out devils, heal the sick, preach the gospel, point everyone to Jesus, and prepare for his return. He's coming back very soon. Maranatha, man. Come, Lord Jesus, come. God bless you all. Hey, if this video blessed you, I want you to comment down below. Um, just let me know what you feel about the video, um, any, any of your um, opinions, if you've got a testimony, if you just want to, even for the, for, the, for the foes, for the enemies, man, you want to comment down below, go ahead and comment. We do have moderators who might block you. I'm just playing. No, but I'm not playing. But yeah. So yeah, man, I love you guys. God bless in Jesus' name.